Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to create these two UI designs using Figma and we're also going to see some of the more advanced features which recently came out such as the auto layout which is topics which I also mentioned in my course. Now without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's get started and let's create this glass UI. So the very first thing which we're going to do is as always we're going to start by creating a frame we're going to select uh, on one of these, in this case it's going to be the 11 Pro Max. We're going to change uh, the artboard name by using command plus R and then changing it to one. And uh, the very next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, some text uh, over here. So this is going to be discovery mode and uh, we're going to add this uh, <clears throat> right here at the very top. Let's change the font to Lato as well, so that we can have uh, a Google web font, which is uh, which looks pretty user friendly. And we're going to add some more text on the top right here. Let's make this one smaller. All right, so far, so good. Um, this is going to be a name. And so far, so good. Now, even before going further, we're going to add some uh, columns. So in this case, we're just going to keep it uh, quite simple. We're going to add four columns. I'd like a bit of a margin. And uh, over here, we're going to change the different color. All right, so far so good. And I like the columns to be in a light uh, color simply because uh, it doesn't interfere too much with uh, the design and the aesthetics and I can already kind of understand where the design is going. Uh, so it's just going to make it easier for us uh, as we're designing uh, the platform. So let's go overhead here and uh, let's add uh, a ellipse. And let's bring it up. Let's bring it a little bit uh, down these uh, three elements. And uh, we're now going to use uh, this uh, plugins, which is called Unsplash, which is amazing to sort out uh, um, images of all kinds, really. So just waiting for a moment for Unsplash to load up. And here it goes. So we're going to select uh, this uh, and we're going to select the portrait, which we can also type in directly from here. And uh, what we see is a bunch of images. We're just going to select the one which uh, might look good with uh, the composition. I don't really like how it's cut on the top. So let's see if we can fix that by simply going ahead here using the crop feature. As you can see, we can uh, easily crop it uh, in a way which uh, makes the portrait uh, looks uh, better overall and more centered. So that's that. Now we're going to add a menu on the top right. So let's go ahead here, type in menu. As you can see with Nucleo, we have uh, a few set of icons which leverage. I'm just going to drag this one in. Let's make it bigger. And uh, I think we're set. So I'm actually going to copy the same uh, color of uh, the text in order to maintain the visual consistency. I'm going to select both of these and use uh, the align vertical center in order to make sure that these two elements are centered correctly. All right, so far so good. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, an element uh, here, which uh, is essentially going to contain uh, a few icons. Now, there's a few ways that we can go after this and I'm going to use uh, some assets from UI8 and uh, we're going to use these icons from uh, Glossyflow. 
So I'm going to link the link in the description of both uh, these icons from Glossyflow and uh, these uh, amazing icons from Alexander Shatov. And they're both uh, on UI8. So if you want to download the, their entire kit, uh, feel free to do so. And uh, let's go ahead here. I'm just going to select all of these uh, icons since uh, they already are with this uh, really good looking uh, glass UI feeling to them. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to make this uh, completely white uh, and then uh, I am uh, essentially going to add an effect uh, which uh, is going to be a shadow, a drop shadow. So let me just sample this. Let's go right here and uh, the shadow is going to be more towards a bluish tint. And I'm going to add the very first icon right here and add some text below this. Let's bring it up and uh, it's going to be finances or finance. Let's center this and uh, let's make it uh, black. And uh, so far, this is looking pretty cool. Now we're going to do pretty much the same with uh, the other icons. And uh, I just want to duplicate it right away in order to already have uh, the basic feeling for the composition. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create also the element below since again, I want to kind of have a feeling of uh, where we're going with this. And uh, what I'm gonna do here, even before we proceed is, since you can see that there are these borders which are covered in a full rectangle. Now, what I want to do is to actually have uh, just uh, the rounded borders. So I'm just going to create a rectangle, I'm going to turn the opacity down to 50%, and then I'm going to essentially add a roundedness to it uh, so that it covers exactly the image and I'm just going to duplicate this a few times so we can uh, have a rectangle for each one of these icons and uh, I'm just going to select all of these icons to, and bring them above the rectangle but we still have the rectangle below so at this point I can simply select the mask view and uh, as you can see we just created this mask so I'm going to repeat, oops, sorry for that. And uh, we're, I'm going to repeat uh, for pretty much uh, every one of these icons. And for some reason, this one didn't really catch up. Or maybe I got distracted by the alarm clock. So let's have a look again at what's going on over here. Have this, then we need this rectangle below. And uh, let's just select it and uh, we should uh, we should have it but for some reason um uh, it's not really working out <laughs> so let's go ahead here let's make this 100 percent and let's bring this one uh, let's just undo as you can see stuff like that happens <laughs> during the workflow i'm just going to command z my way to the original starting point, just to be sure that uh, I haven't messed up uh, anything in particular. So I'm doing this one, this one works. And for some reason, there was like another message board over there. So as you can see, once we de uh, delete that one, we're pretty much set. And I'm going to do the same for each and every one of these. And uh, at this point, you can see that they're not fully opaque. And the reason being is that all these rectangles aren't 100% opacity. But once we turn them up, boom, we have them perfectly fit in the composition. All right, so far, so good. And uh, maybe one thing that we can do is just leave these icons <laughs> below. This would be pretty cool, actually or we can add them inside a specific composition right here. So actually at this point, I'm just going to substitute these, uh, these icons and uh, I kind of want to see where the composition drives me towards. 
because I don't really have uh, a specific idea that I kind of want to be guided by the flow overall. Maybe we're going to do some a few tests. So as you can see, I'm, I haven't really prepared the screen prior starting the tutorial. Um, even the the intro feels like uh, the screen was already there, but uh, I'm literally creating these uh, on the go. Uh, I kind of have like a base idea, but in for the most part, we're just playing around with stuff and uh, figuring out uh, things on the go. So that's uh, that's part of this process. All right, so far so good, and. Uh, at this point, uh, what we're going to try over here is to simply have uh, um, these elements uh, as non, uh, um, as non uh, really, like we're not going to have the backgrounds. So just going to do something around these lines. I'm going to write Figma and uh, let's just make all of these a little bit smaller. I'm just going to align it like this, make this one smaller as well, or lighter. And I'm also going to add a subtitle here. All right, I'm going to have the Top down loads. And we're going to duplicate this uh, a few times. Yeah, one and two will do. And what we're going to do over here is we're going to simply substitute all right. This one's looking good. And we're going to change the names uh, in uh, just a moment. Perfect. This one's going to be Facebook with two O's. And uh, we're, we're pretty much set. So it's looking good. Now another thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the download button at the very right. So going to be this one here. Now let's make it bigger. And we're actually going to add the, one of these uh, elements for the download button. And this is going to be 40 by 40. And we're going to make it uh, a bit rounded since uh, that's going to make the button feel good to press. So, all right. Perfect. So, kind of got rid of this one here. Not sure if uh, the messenger one uh, adds a little bit of more color to the composition. Um, I kind of like it like this. Also, this one isn't isn't that bad. Um, how to make a decision here? Let's go with the messenger. All right. So far, so good. And uh, I'm going to change up this. Uh, um, this text right here. This one's going to be um, and this one's going to be shopping cart. All right, so far, so good. And uh, yeah, overall, these uh, these icons are really helping out in making uh, this composition stand out uh, quite a bit. And uh, we're actually going to create uh, a version of this, uh, which is uh, disabled since it's already 
download it or maybe we're just going to do it like the press version and uh, yeah cool so far so good I'm actually wondering if this one is uh, if we can add some uh, some more elements so let's go ahead over here and uh, let's create a, a tag around uh, this specific section this this one's going to be the popular tag uh, let's bring it down all right looking pretty good and we're going to make uh, this text smaller we want it to stand out quite a bit and we're going to use the auto layout feature so auto layout let's uh, use 5 or 10 and uh, some reason I'd like this one to be yeah it's going to do the job uh, for some reason I want uh, this to be even uh, even smaller as a tag yeah that would uh, that will do Okay, now let's go ahead here. Let's change the, or actually, let's use this color and then let's make this one 10% opacity. What did I mess up here? <laughs> okay, I think, uh, I think I got it. And the frame should be something around these lines. All right, so far, so good. Now, one thing I want to do now is to actually remove the layout grid so that I can have a bird's eye view on the screen. And uh, overall, I think uh, this is looking good. Maybe we want to make it uh, just a little bit smaller. I'm kind of like eyeballing this. All right, so far, so good. Actually wondering if these guys could be just a tiny bit smaller. Now we have a, a layout below, but I think this would be actually beneficial. All right, now, now I need to double check that everything is, is making sense. So 166 by 149, we're going to essentially use the same over here and 166. Double checking on, on the measurements, and uh, yeah, I think uh, we are pretty much set when it comes to this layout. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, a alternative version of this, which is going to follow a darker mode. So yeah, it's going to be around these lines. Let's just grab all the text, make it white. Let's grab these guys, give them less opacity. I'm probably going to go even darker. Right, and um, maybe let's try and uh, work around the other color just to give uh, just to start to understand the vibe of uh, where we're really going uh, with this and yeah, I'm not feeling this one too much but maybe something around these lines could be interesting all right 
So far, so good. And maybe just a touch like this could be beneficial. I'm actually wondering. Yeah, I probably want to go with something uh, which isn't too, too distant. Um, yeah, it's really tricky to, to figure out the exact uh, um, calibration of the colors based on what we are looking for. They think we're doing a pretty good job. And for the dark uh, <coughs> version, sorry, I don't think uh, we're going to need the the shadow effect. I think this is going to be enough. And we probably want to give these guys just a little bit more. Yeah, spin around the, and these lines will be cool. Just to make them stand out a little bit more. <clears throat> All right. So far, so good. And I'm not really seeing uh, anything else that uh, I'd like to improve upon or, or change for that matter. Maybe let's try. Yeah, quite happy overall. So yeah, there we go.